Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another Tablescape. So today we are working on our second Bridgerton Tablescape. Bridgerton themed Tablescape. I'm so excited. So you might have caught the last video. We just did this beautiful Tablescape with the beautiful blue china and our very own homegrown centerpiece. I wanted a place to be able to use these really cute sunflower and bee napkin rings but for this type of table with all of the china and all of the teacups and everything that i wanted to use uh there just wasn't a great place to use napkin rings so i put them into our centerpiece i thought it was a really sweet touch now we're going to be doing our second one so while this was the blue of the bridgerton boys and girls bridgerton house um, when I was looking for China, these are both my mom's sets. She had two with gold. Um, this one for the blue and one that has a bit more green. And of course, Penelope has been wearing the most gorgeous uh, green gowns this season as she is transitioning away from the more colorful Featherington gowns into the green and then later of course when she becomes a Bridgerton she will wear more blue um but the sage greens the mint greens the seafoam greens that she's wearing are one of my favorite colors I often do seafoam green up for Christmas around here so we're going to go ahead mom actually these are mostly flowers from my mom's garden my cut flower garden is still in the works um, and her hydrangeas have already bloomed quite a bit. Plus she has blue hydrangeas. Mine are all pinks or whites. Um, so she actually wants to take this centerpiece home. Of course, there's nothing wrong with that. They are her flowers and her china, which she was gracious enough to let me use. Um, so she is going to come get them. I'm going to go ahead and set the table with the second tablescape for Penelope. So before we can get started with table two, table one unfortunately does have to move which I am sad about, but she's literally going to be using these pieces, like I think tomorrow night. So hydrangeas don't keep forever. Um, we did actually put the entire floral centerpiece together in that video. Again, I will put that down below if you want to watch it. Uh, so she's going to come get them and use them tomorrow night. And they should keep well enough for that, especially if she tucks this baby in the fridge tonight. And Yes, we did the entire arrangement and the suit terrain, because why not? We're going to be using the same silverware or flatware and probably the same glasses. We may switch out glasses, we'll see. Um, short of borrowing my mom's crystal, my clear glasses are very modern. Um, and most of my beautiful vintage stemware is pink. So I did borrow these blue pieces from my mom, but we'll have to see how they go with the other dishes or if our clear pieces would be better. Maybe we'll tuck the pink ones in there just to change it up. Sometimes you have to kind of play it by ear a little bit. So let's go ahead and wait. until we get closer to the side because I'm not 100% sure what we're going to end up for this table other than I have different, my favorite bee napkin ring holders, velvet napkins, and mom's china. I'm very excited about the velvet napkins. I might I wasn't planning to keep them. I was trying to decide if I liked them. I bought some pink ones. I know I'm for sure keeping, but I wasn't sure if the mint green, sage green ones were a impulse buy. I thought they would be really pretty with this set of china. Maybe mom would want them. She's the one that pointed out that they would probably be beautiful with my Christmas dishes, which are that seafoam kind of green. So after we're done with this one, Mom doesn't steal them. I keep them for Christmas. All right, careful walking. I'm 
All right, little teacups. Careful. All right, so here's what we're working with for our second set. And I did grab a set of chargers for these. Of course, chargers wouldn't have been traditionally used back in the Bridgerton days, but I thought it would be really fun. They go really well with the table uh, napkin rings. And since I'm doing two Bridgerton tablescapes and they're going to be similar aesthetics going for that olden day kind of look, I wanted to differentiate them a little bit. So play around with it last night. Here are the plates. Give y'all a close up of the saucers can see that they have greens and blues in the edging there. And while I love the napkin rings, they actually have a bit of burlap around them, which I did not realize. I just saw the B that big pearl and thought, oh my God, I have to have that. So while I do love this for every day, I wanted to dress them up a bit for Bridgerton. So what I've decided to do is to kind of hide them in our teacups. So I placed our napkin through the ring and then I put the ring in our teacups and then figure we will just kind of Zhoosh our napkin over our plate like so. And I think that will be very fancy. I think that these cups uh, do not work at all. So I have to remove those. That's okay. I have to see. I have a more teal set, which I didn't think would work, but maybe with this leaning so green heavy, maybe the teal would be better. Or maybe I'll just go wild with the pink. Let's go ahead, get all of the china on the table, and then we can start to worry about the glasses. All right, so I have set all the place settings. I do want to show you how I've ended up doing the napkins. So start by taking my napkins and aren't these luxurious they come in lots of different colors too but i i love them i don't know if i like these or the pinks better fold them into a triangle and then pull your napkin ring about halfway down a little bit more than halfway so now we're going to take just the tail and leave it out of the top we're going to place that kind of loop that we just made into our teacup at the top and now hold your napkin ring towards the top and we're going to put the other bottom loop make a bottom loop in the bottom of our teacup now our B quite nicely in our teacup. We need to kind of zhoosh it around so he's hiding as much as that burlap as possible and make sure that the tails are nice and then we can place him on our stack. Now let's decide on our glasses. I do think I'm going to place this napkin. I think I have six of these and I just don't know where the sixth one is right now. I just opened them. Um, but we're just gonna kinda put this in the middle a little. Just as a little color I think would be nice. Our sugar and creamer. I've got some candlesticks as well. Um, and let's decide. So we've got the blue. 
actually liking more than I was. Maybe now that all the colors disperse evenly, they're not bothering me as much. They look bluer when these aren't on the table, but they're just not quite the right color here. And I think, unfortunately, these, while they are a better color, are too, they, they're very saturated, so they draw a lot of your attention. And I don't want the cups to be the main attraction. I want the bees and the, the table settings to actually be the main attraction. So even though it's not quite the color scheme, I am leaning towards the pinks. They are soft, similar in tone to the, the seafoam mint green here, and they're more see-through. If I had clear ones, that would be the best. Um, I could go with my clear ones, but again, they're very modern. I don't want to go with a modern one. So I think we can go with the pink. They may not be quite what I would pick if I was buying glasses for this table. They're soft and feminine like Penelope is this season. And I think they are the least eye drawing of all of the options that I own. One of these days I will get real crystal. Crystal wine glasses would have been the best on this table for sure. All right, so now I have two sets of candlesticks. I'm not sure which to use, so let's try those. I have a gold or brass set or a crystal set. I'm trying to show these with my right hand, y'all. Quite the thing. These are also borrowed from my mom because I don't own any crystal. I'm not cool enough. And again, gold is just not my thing. So I think we can add these here. I'm leaning towards the crystal. Yeah, I think it goes nicely with the glasses and it doesn't draw your eye to them, leaving the attention again back on the table, place savings. My mom went to so much trouble to get these gold candlesticks off her mantle for me and I'm not even using them. Thank you for trying mom. I like the crystal ones. She thought to bring those and they were better. Mom was right. <laughs> small cake stand or two or three so I could elevate some of these metal pieces not have them all on the same level the only ones I have that would work that are that small are all pink and I don't want to add more pink to the table so I think we're going to go ahead and call this done it looks very fancy to me maybe I'm just not the fanciest girl but I really like it I love the bees. To me, the bees make the whole table. And it's very soft and delicate and demure, not like Lady Whistledown, but like Penelope often is uh, sitting at her window reading, which is completely me. I identify with Penelope all day. We are definitely Gemini's. We are either soft and sweet or way too sassy and there is no in between. <laughs> Lord help us. I will bring y'all in for a close up and then I'm gonna go watch the first half of the season again because we are only 10 days away. Y'all are probably watching this on like day five or something and the countdown begins. All right, y'all, I decided we needed some height 
a little more pink. So I went ahead and I grabbed my tiny cake stand and added some flowers, which I think pulls in all the pinks and the greens together for a very soft, feminine Penelope look. And at mom's advice, I took our beautiful napkin rings and added one to our crystal candlesticks. Still need to clean up the rest of the room. We have our China unpacking station over here, so don't look too far in the background, but I really love how this turned out. The dishes are just so pretty.